Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. It's episode five of the Warming Chronicles, and this time the star vendor is Destination Wax. I haven't done a Destination Wax warm review video, Warming Chronicles video yet, so I wanted to, I've been melting like crazy through some of these blends lately, and I hadn't melted Destination Wax for a while, but then I recently got back into this vendor and I thought you know I'm going to talk to you guys about this because I know that she has a big following and a lot of these scents are really 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 good so let's get started I have several of this shot cups which is how she used to offer the blends but then she's moved on to her breakaway bars which are in these little bags and then her foil pan loaves um, Destination Wax is owned by Rebecca Harris, her husband's Jim, who does all the packaging and shipping and whatnot. And they have such an amazing business. They're very open and transparent with things with their business. And I just love some of the scents that she offers. Um, and I think I would probably say between 80 and 85 of 80 and 85 percent of the blends that Rebecca offers are single oils. She has great um, house blends of hers, which I have a few in here, and there are some that you can't find anywhere else, like Moon Spice Cookie and Pink Sari, but I don't have those in here because I haven't finished those um, quite yet. So let's get started on these ones. First one, Cocoa Butter Cashmere. This is a single oil. This is such a good one. This is Sweet Tonka Bean, Sweet Tonka Bean, Coconut, Jasmine, Sandalwood, Amber musk, warm spices, and cocoa butter. This is such a creamy, comforting, warm blanket, hug type of scent. This is a great blender. It can be blended with just about anything that's comforting and warm and inviting. I really smell the sandalwood, a little touch of amber, a little touch of musk, but I'm mostly getting the cocoa butter, the sandalwood, touch of the amber, like I said, and it is a little bit of the sweetness from the tonka bean, a little bit of the sweetness from the coconut. This is a really good one. For a single oil, that's a good one. Next is pink chiffon, another single oil. I, I think it's a single oil because it's a Bath and Body Works dupe. This is soft pink petals, wild berries, vanilla orchid with wild, let's try that again, soft pink petals. Wild Berries, Vanilla Orchid with Notes of Coconut, Sandalwood, and Musk. Baby W. Bath and Body Works. This one, oh, this is good. I've, I've only really had this blended with different blends from different vendors. I haven't had it alone. And this is such a pretty feminine, perfumey scent to me. I'm really definitely getting the berries, definitely getting the, the, the orchid, the, the pink petals, a little bit of the sandalwood. This is a really pretty blend. I like this blended with other things a little bit better than alone. Next is another single oil, pink sugar. Can't go wrong with pink sugar. This is our version of Aquilina. Well, this is her version, so it's her her take on it. I apologize. Ch typically, pink sugar seems to be a single oil. At least I thought it was. Um, but this is our version of Aqualina's Pink Sugar. Pink cotton candy, raspberry jam, lemon drops, caramel, and musk. Definitely get the cotton candy. Definitely get the cotton candy. I get a little bit of the caramel, just that little bit of extra warmth of the caramel. And I get a little bit of the raspberry in here too. This is nice. I like this. She puts, she has a pink sugar blender that she mixes with patchouli, which is her pink sari. I love pink sari. Pink sari is my favorite blend from Destination Wax. Next to Moon Spice Cookie. And um, another one I have in here. We'll get to it. Malamar Coast. That's another one of my favorites. Okay, Lemon Fresh. I don't know if this one's offered anymore. I know that sometimes her oils become discontinued or she doesn't offer them anymore. I think this one might be on the list of those, but I might be wrong. I haven't bought from Destination in a while. Um, I'm on a diet with them. So <laughs> I will buy probably closer to fall when the weather gets cooler. Um, this is a very complex and fresh lemon fusion scent. Lemon Sugar by Fresh. This is such a good lemon. And it, I will say it's a fresh cleaning lemon. It's not a sweet bakery lemon. It's a sweet lemon, but it's not bakery. Like this doesn't smell like a pie or pound cake or anything like that. This is a clean, fresh, squeaky clean 
Mr. Clean-esque. Um, not quite as strong as Mr. Clean, but you get what I'm saying. This is a cleaning lemon. Very, very good. Okay, let's get into some of these uh, breakaway bars. I have quite a few here. Beach Bonfire. Now, Beach Bonfire, salty sea air, sweet marshmallows, and smoldering embers, fresh and warm at the same time, not smoky. This one, I melted this throughout my home. I wanted to see how this performed in different warmers and in different locations in my house. I get... She's correct in saying it's not smoky. It is not a smoky scent. That's her wood smoke. Wood smoke is the smokiest scent I've ever smelled in my life. Wood smoke. I'll talk about that in a future video. Um, I've melted more Destination Wax stuff, but I want to talk about ones I've completely finished so I get the story from the beginning to the end. I really want to really want to give it the six chances in here to melt this for you guys before I talk about these different blends. So anyways, side note. I definitely get the sweet marshmallow and I get the smoldering embers because there's a little bit of woods in here, a little bit of woodsy, but it's not smoky, not smoky woodsy. And it's not, it's not cologne woodsy either. It's not Palo Santo woodsy. It's, it's not oud woodsy. A little, a little bit of, little bit of wood, but it's mostly, it's mostly sweet marshmallow and definitely the salty sea air comes in there. So it's like you have a melted pot of marshmallows with a little, a little bit of, little bit of smoldering embers, which are, you know, wood that used to be burning, but it's now it's the embers, a little bit, a little touch, a little sprinkle of that. And then you have that blast of ocean air come in that just crisps the air up it has a little bit of salt that's what this is like this is not beach nights this is beach bonfire there's a difference but i really like this did i get something on my glasses i don't think so sorry guys real life here <laughs> this is a nice one i would purchase this again in another breakaway bar it's a nice one to have on hand Next, cranberry pumpkin. I just talked about this in my weekly video. This is baked cranberries and pumpkin, sweet, rich, and lightly tart, inspired by the Bath and Body Works candle. Now this one, guys, don't get afraid when it says pumpkin. I know there's some of you guys out there that don't like pumpkin. I'm a pumpkin lover. However, I don't get a hint of pumpkin in here. Yes, this is a sweet blend, and maybe the pumpkin attributes to a little bit of the sweetness that's in this, but this is the perfect cranberry. It is sweet, but it's got still got that tart component to it. I love this. This is beautifully done, and I think this is um, her blend of cranberry pumpkin because it doesn't say it's a dupe. It says inspired by. It's definitely rich. It's definitely that beautiful line of half sweet, half tart. This is such a good one. It performed well. It lasted well, uh, probably five or six hours. And I could smell this and I thought that is a really good cranberry scent. I will say I cut these little scent shots into four. I used to do three, but I do four. And I use one bar in each warmer. And if I'm using my tea light, I use a, a, a one bar, one cube, I mean. I use a cube and a half in my... Um, tart burner and uh, my tea light burners because they're a tea light warmers because they're a little bit hotter than the hot plates get so I wanted to say that's how I use um that's what I use how much for destination wax next is oh this is another amazing blend of hers oh Christmas in Jamaica I love this one I love 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 this one I think just Jenny also likes this one too this is a unique one balsam fir Orange, grapefruit, pineapple, and cranberry. I mean, come on. What's not to love about this one? It's not a air freshener bathroom pine scent. Yes, there's pine-esque to it. There's the that sticky sap component to it. You got those those fur, not fur, the pine needles to it. But you have the citrus, those pineapple, the the grapefruit, the orange, and then that punch of cranberry in there. This is so good. I would purchase this again in a heartbeat. I will purchase this again in the fall time. This is such a good scent, but it really, you could use this 
you could use this all year round, guys. It's just that it's a nice, unique scent that I have yet to smell from any other vendor. This blows you away. It's a really good blend. Love, 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 love that one. Next, Red Pear. And I'm pretty sure this one has been discontinued. I think that uh, on Rebecca's most recent post or something, I saw Red Pear is going by Bice, along with Pear Salad and something else. This is Juicy Ripe Red Pear, Richer Than Bartlett Pear, and Yellow Pear. And I, and I do agree with that. I just finished this up this past week. It's a mature peach, excuse me, mature pear scent. It's got the, like you bite into a pear, that juiciness, that, that maturity of that fruit. It's not, it's not quite like an apple where it's crisp and sweet and pear is a little bit deeper, a little bit more rich. That's what this one is like. And I don't want to love this one too much to you guys because it's not available anymore. Unless by some stroke of luck that it comes back, but I'm pretty sure this one has been discontinued. Next, um, coffee, Coco Kona Mocha. This one is rich Kona coffee with chocolate, vanilla cream, co coconut, and a bit of cardamom. This was not my favorite coffee scent, and I've melted a lot of coffee scents in my in my time. And this one, I love every single one of these scents independently. Love coffee, love cardamom, love cinnamon, not cinnamon, love cardamom, love coconut, love vanilla, and chocolate. I'm strange with chocolate and wax. I'm not a fan of chocolate and wax. And when I bought this, I thought, you know, I'll try it because it's coffee and it's got a lot of other stuff happening here. But just mixed together, this one was not my cup of coffee. I just, I didn't like this one. I found myself taking this out of the warmer well before it had worn off and I couldn't smell it anymore just because I didn't care for it that much. And um, this is obviously a one and done for me. Um, I can get the coconut and I can get the cardamom and I get the chocolate also coming through there and the coffee. But just that together, it just, it's not my favorite coffee scent. This is a one and done. But if you like it and you enjoy it, I'm so happy that this one makes you happy because I know there are a lot of coffee scents that make me happy that some other people don't like. So I understand. Okay. Oh, this is so good. I just talked about this one too. This is Malabar Coast. Warm black Malabar peppercorns overlaid with a light ocean breeze. And how I described this one in my weekly basket video was this is, has a very mineral-esque quality to it. It's got a little bit of saltiness to it. Of course, yes, you have the salty sea air or the light ocean breeze, Rebecca calls it in this one. But it's not like a pepper, pepper mill where you are cooking and you smell the pepper and you sneeze. It's not like that. You get the sea salty, the oceanic component to it, and you get a little bit of that spiciness from the peppercorn. But this is so well done. It's, it is spa-like. It's relaxing. It's cleansing. This is such a good one. I will buy that one again. Very, very, very good. Nutmeg and Spices. This is spicy warm blend of nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, and clove with a little caramel and vanilla. This one was nice. I thought it was kind of weak, honestly. I wanted a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a throw and a little bit stronger, um, scent from this one and i will take a moment to say that i love destinations wax uh, the destination waxes texture the consistency of the wax but i am finding in my home and my experience that the longer that this wax ages the scent starts to deteriorate a little bit around the year mark some of these blends I purchased last year. I actually, in fact, purchased 99% of these last year. And I remember all of them and how strong they were and crazy great. And then I melted some last year and then some of these I put away and I didn't get to them until this year. And the scent has deteriorated away a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what any of your experiences is experiences are with destination wax in terms of longevity shelf life etc let me know what your experience is and if you can get years at a destination wax i'm finding in my experience around the year mark is when it starts to deteriorate a little bit i can still smell every single one of these fine but they have been stronger in the past in my home so that's what i wanted to say to you guys 
Okay. This one, yes, this one, I wanted more throw from it. I wish it was stronger. I'm definitely getting the ginger and the cinnamon and the clove and all of those yummy nutmeg, pumpkin pie, baking spices. Definitely get that. And then I get a little bit of the caramel to it. And I really, I like this one, but like I said, I wish it, I wish it was stronger and I wish I could smell it a little bit more. Hit the road, Jack. This one is... Um, sweet patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, black pepper, citrus compared to Lord of Misrule, which is a lush scent. This one is great. I love Lord of Misrule. It's so strong. You still smell it in the bag. Her take on it is pretty good. I love patchouli. I love sandalwood. I love vanilla, black pepper, and citrus. If you haven't tried Lord of Misrule, it's a strong, strong, strong scent. It's not incense-y. It's not too patchouli-ish. It's got enough going on in there to kind of taper that part down. I know patchouli is intimidating to some people. I love it. I grew up with it. It's really, really good. Um, this one, give it a try. Lord and Miss Rules poured all across the industry. But give this one a try. It's her take on it. It's a really, really good one. If you like Lord and Miss Rule, you'll like that one. Two more here. We have Casey's Peaches and Clean. Now, this one is an airy blend of tree-ripened peaches and freshly washed linens. And I just talked about this one, actually, too. It's not... It's not downy and tied and even gain. It's not a laundry soap that I'm smelling. I'm getting a fresh off the peach, off the, off the, off the tree peach that you bite into and that juice runs all over and the bees come and flies come because it's sweet and <laughs> all that stuff. But then you are getting that, that clean, that clean part of it. And it's not... It's not a laundry soap, and it's not a fabric softener scent. It's just a clean, crisp, clean, I can't say the word clean enough. It, it's hard to, it, it's, a, it's a linen, It's a. It, but it's not flannel sheets. It's not cotton sheets. It's not something as strong as that. It's a very touch, gentle, gentle cleanliness to it. This is a nice one. It's her house blend, and I... I don't think I will buy this again just because I found that it's more peach than a good balance of the peach and linen. I can smell the linen in here, but I, I wish it was done a little bit differently, a little bit more of linen, a little bit less of peach, if that makes sense. That is how I feel about this one. And finally, another favorite is strawberry seeds. This is sweet and zesty strawberry. This is a great scent. I love this one. I'm having a strawberry moment right now, but strawberry is so versatile. You can blend it with anything under the sun just about, and it'll come out smelling great. This is authentic, nice strawberry, like you just get a carton of it, bite into one, and you have that strawberry juice that's right there. It's so good, fresh picked. I almost get a little bit, a little bit of the green, you know, the, the top part of the berry. I get a little bit of that. It's so good. I love this scent. I would purchase this again. That's a good one. So that is episode five, I think this is, of my Warming Chronicles Destination Wax Edition. So I do have a couple more videos of Warming Chronicles to do. I have one in um, L3 and Rose Girls coming up soon. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. Hope everyone had a great weekend and I'll see you soon.